Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, Hukalo TV, humancolony.org, uh, Sunday's guided meditation. Today's meditation host is Roxanne Swainhart. Hello, Roxanne. How are you? Wonderful, doll. How are you? I am good. Um, we're getting ready to go here. You need a moment to uh, prepare or anything? I'm going to grab one more sip of water. Okay. While you're doing that, I'll let everybody know who's here. We have Johannes is here, and Raven is here, and Ray is here, I think, and Sarah is here visiting from uh, New Jersey today, and Valerie and Roxy from Atlanta is here, and uh, all the folks on YouTube. So it's wonderful to have everybody here. This is the second guided meditation. The first one was last week. This is the second one. And it'll be every Sunday at this time. Every Sunday at 6 p.m. All right, that will work. Okay, Ray says she's technically back. <laughs> awesome. All right. Uh, Hi, Chris. Hello, Chris. Thanks for joining. Welcome in. Hey, I'm in the dark. That's Cheering okay. <laughs> Perfect place to be. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and start now. Everybody muted. Yeah. And Chris, go ahead and mute. I will mute, and I will see you all shortly. On the other side. Very good. All right. <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to first tune the room. So in your own way, we're going to start in uh, with uh, three ohms. Follow along however you choose. Uh, Dan, can you put me, put me as presenting? Thank you. And then uh, we'll go from there. So we're first going to ohm. Clear your mind, clear your space, clear your chakras. Let us begin. Picture, if you will, the serene of emptiness. You are no thing in the middle of business. You are nowhere. You are nobody. You are a thought in the infinite sea of thoughts. There is nothing about you. You have no identity. You have no past. You have no future. You are only now. We are going to take you on a journey within yourself. We would ask you to allow yourself the imagination to come to the forefront. There are no truths. There are no falses. There are no rights. There are no wrongs. There is only your imagination running the show. Give in to yourself and follow your own lead. We would like you to go inside and we are going to meet your other you. We are going to connect you to yourself. There is a path before you now. It is a pathless path. So choose the picture with your imagination that path. We would like you to float upon this path. We would like you to follow this path. This path is your beauty, your path, your imagination. Follow it as you will. It matters not how you float down this path. Be the path into the eternal emptiness that lies before you.
You see in front of you a small dot. It is that of white. It is that of glowing. You are now pulling into the dot. The dot of light is getting larger. Allow yourself to slip into the beam from the light. Allow yourself to become the caressing. Allow yourself to become the warming. Allow yourself to be bathed in your own light. You are now out of yourself. You have now become the isness of yourself. You are all about you. You are every vibration, every feeling. You are all at the same time and nothing at one time. Follow yourself into this room that lies before you. There is a door that appears in the idea distance. You are floating towards it with the easement of no effort. You are allowing yourself to be pulled in by your own love into this beautiful light, this door of white, this door of golden, this door is now open. You pass through this door. It is an empty room. It is round. It is beaming. It is speckled with diamonds against a black background. Now it is only a circle, a round bubble, and you are at the center of your business. Sit in your business. Feel the vibration of your own self. Love with no intention your own self. In front of you there is a smoke a mist, a distortion in your frequency. It is now taking shape. It is a face. Let your imagination introduce yourself to yourself. It matters not the appearance. There are no boundaries to yourself. You are an infinite number of self being one self at this time. Look into your own eyes. Fall in love with that entity across from you. For it is you. Let this golden light beam from you, into you, into you, from you, from you, into you, into you, from you. What do you smell? How do you feel? Do you feel the wind? Do you feel the warmth? Do you feel the rain? Do you feel the love? Your imagination is you. Yourself is now looking back at yourself. Yourself is now a full-figured self in whatever way you choose, for it is you choosing you.
allow this entity, that of you, to speak to you. The first idea is the name. Whatever name comes in, accept and be that name. Say hello and greet yourself in harmonious love. Yourself will now ask you to join yourself. We would like you to look at yourself in your new self, from your new self to your fractal self. Your eyes are looking from the inner self, the conscious self, are now one self. And see yourself in the human form across from you. See yourself as you do in the mirror. See yourself fading away. You are now only you. The fractal is now being you. And now you know entities, you will never not be you. Feel your new self. Sit in your isness. Feel the power point of now. You are everything. Dash back to the past. Leap forward to the future. Allow your imagination to give you those moments in the now. Shift from that last life. Shift to the next life. Let your imagination give you what you choose. Trust you are you. As a group, we shall travel. Everybody is the isness of all, and now we shall travel. An invitation from the central sun we shall accept. We are all on board the yellow beam of light. We all join hands. You are the light body upon the beam of light. See the galaxies about you. Feel the movement going forward as we travel towards the central sun. The diamonds are zipping by. You feel the wind upon your face in the emptiness of space. You feel the warmth of the beam upon your feet as you warp through the galaxies. You pass Sirius. You portal through the next universe. You feel the pulling of both entities that of Akashika and that of Fontana. You are in the Fontana universe. You are traveling upon the warmth of the sun. The central sun is calling you. You are now Isness. The distance is growing larger central sun is accepting of your love for now you have realized you have never left the central sun you are closer you feel the warmth you slow to a pace of nothing 
yet you are moving as light. You've arrived at the central sun. We are in a circle, holding hands, bidding each other farewell for the moment. We embrace, we rejoice, we separate. And now each and every one of you turn around and choose your own beam. Ride upon that beam and follow it where you may, for you are now infinite. Journey in your imagination. <clears throat> Go off the grid. You are released to yourself. I will chant. At the end of the chant, I will bring you back. Enjoy your ride. King O Hear my voice, entities in the distance. It is time to ride the beam back. It is time to return to the central sun. Embrace those you are with, and you shall journey to them once again. 
for now you know who and where they are. They are always within you. All come back to the central sun. Form the circle up and join hands. Thank you. We would like you to go inside your body. Take your imagination and follow it into your idea of your crown chakra. It is that of the purple essence. Be that light within you. You are that. You are both ideas of yourself melding, connecting, infinite intelligence from you to you in you now. Breathe through this chakra. Engage in its understandings. Allow the flow of infinite intelligence into you. For it is you. It is you. It is you. We would like you to travel down into your heart chakra. See yourself from there. Open up and beat your love. Feel the pulsation. Feel the connection. Stand in your own isness. Pull up the energies from the central sun through your sacral. Pull down the energies from the central sun through your crown. Breathe them out through your chakra of the heart. Be that you now feel the endless circular motion of infinity within you. Always pulling, always pulling down, up, and through you. Breathe the infinite intelligence. Breathe the power of the universe. Join them in your heart chakra and breathe them onto the reality of life. This is you. This is your PowerPoint of creation. You have never been separated. You have only forgotten. You feel. Yes. You remember. Yes. You feel. Yes. You remember. Yes. You see your other selves. You know your other selves. You see your spiritual brothers, your spiritual sisters, your spiritual family. You see the candle in the window. That candle is for you. It is always burning when you are journeying away from yourself. So you will now know you are not forgotten. You will now know the candle is for you to journey home. And now you see the light in the window. It is your house. It is your home. And it is waiting endlessly for you to come home upon your choice. Choose to be in your house. You see yourself at your own door. Your imagination knows your house. It knows your door. Allow yourself to flow into it. Picture the room. Do you see your favorite sitting spot? Do you see your favorite chair? Do you see your nightstand table? Do you see your favorite drink? 
Do you see the warmth of the fireplace burning for you? Waiting to cuddle you, to warm you upon your return. You see your family about you, offering their love. For the bravery of the journey that you have embarked upon, you have remembered, you have never left home. You are home, you are the isness, you are the central, you are the galaxies, you are the universe, you are all that is. Breathe. Embrace your family. Give your hugs. Give your farewells. There are no tears. There is only joy. For now they know that you know you have never left. Turn about, follow my voice, come back to me. Sit in the isness of this idea. Be in the center of me. Breathe. Feel, embrace, love. We shall journey home, all aboard the yellow beam. We hold hands. We turn and give our thanks to the central sun. We beam away. The warmth upon our face, upon our back, upon our heads, upon our feet. For we have been enveloped with the love of the central sun. Feel yourself back through the portal into the Akashika universe. See our galaxies. They are familiar. You feel old friends. You feel lost love. For now you are now connected with all of them. You remember Trust the imagination, for it is creation. We would like you to pull yourself into yourself. See yourself in front of yourself. Manifest the isness of the human that you are. You see the beauty of this creation, this human, this flower, this butterfly, this perfection. Give the vitality of the central sun to your body. Be that, breathe that, love your creation. You are back in your eyes. Look upon yourself, give thanks, embrace, turn and follow my voice back to the now, the isness of where you are, the creation of your moment, the self that you are that now encompasses all selves. The self that you are that now encompasses all galaxies. The self you are that now encompasses all universes. The self you are that now encompasses all that is. 
you are one with all, and all are one with you. Breathe. Breathe. We would like you to see yourself in yourself, in your eyes. Feel your earth, feel your body, feel your presence in the now, and awaken entities. You have returned home, which you have never left. Awaken entities, I bid you a good day, a good day. Hi everyone, we're back. <laughs> you guys there? You can unmute now and talk. <laughs> yep, that was wonderful. Thank you so much. That was so neat. Hi, I'm back. I'm Hi. bummed it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Roxy. You're most welcome. Yeah, o, o has longer ones than that. But he just felt like we want you to get familiar with this voice, the people that listen to it, and how he likes to do it, and he'll take us on many journeys. But this was kind of like a starter journey. <laughs> yeah, that was good, though. That was fun. Oh, yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was good. I love how he lets you guys go, and then you get to go do your own thing for a while. That is so cool. Yeah, know? floated around for a little bit. That was neat. And you play wherever you are. I love it. Mm-hmm. I play with my dogs that are not here anymore. What's that? I said I played with my puppy dogs that have gone to heaven. Awesome. Wonderful. Let me uh, take you up, present, so we can yeah. see everybody who's talking. There we go. Yeah. It felt like a um, different frequency of Astypheus. Oh, yes. It was a different frequency. He, he comes in different parts of himself for particular ideas. I love Johannes. <laughs> he's so sweet. You know, because he's indifferent now. He presents himself from a different space-time now, which he's manifesting as. So he comes through a different frequency. Very cool. Yeah. it was. I could tell it was him, but it, it was an entirely different frequency. Yeah. Like a way in the future him. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes, what that I got. Was beautiful, and I saw Thais, and I went to a planet, and there was a beach and birds. Oh. When you went out on your own little journey? Yeah. Beautiful. I know it wasn't that long, but it's very deep, the way he, for me anyway, he pinpoints you in this soothing of the voice and he pinpoints you in easy ways to bring you into a like very distant deep place within yourself so we never really do very long ones I think the longest one he's ever done is like an hour but yeah, the voice about is half amazing. Hour, 40 minutes. you like it? yeah I love it like awesome. you said very very soothing relaxing and just more <laughs> yeah <laughs> All right, well, then we'll do an encore with them then. So. <laughs> I have a question. What was the planet that he named outside of Sirius? No, no. The, he that goes, was that was a portal to go through from the Akashica universe to the Fontana universe. Oh, okay. I think it was Fontana, right? Yeah, I think that was. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Because there's, right. there's a portal there at Sirius that's... Uh, Fifth dimensional portal, I guess, is what 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 I understand. Um, and so that's from one galaxy to another. So I guess we can get to the central sun that way. Maybe it's shorter. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You take a left at this star, then you go down a few blocks. Right. <laughs> Pass a couple of portals on the left, and then a second portal on the right. That's <laughs> you go there. <laughs> and there we are. Oh man, that's so funny. What if we have galactic directions? That's going to be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> you need a big piece of paper. 
<laughs> yeah, really, no kidding. <laughs> Hi, Mark. I didn't see you, Mark. Thanks for joining. Thanks. Sorry, I was helping somebody. It came in a little late, so oh, I had well, a hard time you. settling in, but I enjoyed it anyhow. Okay, did you get there a little bit? I'm I'm sorry you were, you know, I, I didn't know uh, you. I had a fun in. ride on the beam of light, and I enjoyed Good. the encounter with myself. Um, oh, beautiful. But when uh, you the there was a reference to a central sun, would that be a black hole in the center of a galaxy is a black hole? Well, that that's the that's the 3D version cellar of the galaxy is a black hole. But the central sun sits at the middle of about a million galaxies, um, so it's very, very far away. And that's the central sun is the start of this universe and a couple other universes, and you can get to it. The portals are games within it, but from what I understand, the central sun gave birth to all of the galaxies, all of them, so it's from like this you idea. Like the origin of the Big Bang. Yes, in a way. Yeah, you can call it that. But it wasn't like the idea of a Big Bang um, from a spiritual, or no, let's say from a dimensional point of view, that would sound better. Maybe in 3D physical, yes, but we're definitely we're playing in a different dimension. In the dimension of just light, not, not mass. Now you're talking my language. <laughs> you're talking dirty to me. <laughs> Talk dirty to me, baby. <laughs> so so this, yeah, this whole concept of dimensions is still very confusing to me. Um, mm -hmm. I would like some kind of an analogy to hang on to how they relate to each other. You know, if if the Big Bang is a three D event, what's going on in the other dimensions at the same time? Um, that's kind of an odd question, but let me give you a reference point and then you can figure that. So, um, on, let's say, there's a dimension, there's physical dimensions, so let's start with the first one. The first dimension is birth from the idea of a proton, okay, atom, you can't see it, yet it exists. So that would be maybe understandable as the first dimension. Uh, density is a better idea. Let's go with density. They're both the same, but they're a step above. Fifth dimension is like fourth density. So we'll use the term density. And if anyone else wants to jump in here, they're more than welcome to. Um, the second density is a idea of plant mineral. It still exists within physicality. Whereas first density does not, it is in the idea of the other side of vibration. And what I mean by vibration is, look around you, everything you see is vibrating at a frequency that gives the illusion of mass. Everything is a vibration collapsed light, L-I-G-H-T, that is slowed to a particular frequency that creates the idea of a solid mass. It is slowed, we are slowing it, to an idea of gross mass, which bursts into the idea of finite mass, and then we give ourselves the illusion of physical through what we call our senses. Truly, it is not an idea of a solid world. It is an idea of an illusional world. But we give ourselves the sensation, because we're that awesome of creators, the idea of physicality. Think of a black hole, as you mentioned it. On the other side of a black hole is spiritual, is what you call now solid. What comes through the black hole, the event horizon, is what births the idea of creation as far as physical appearances. The proton is the same idea. Through the idea of a proton is birthed an idea of physical life. So it happens in all scales. We just see it as an idea of a black hole bringing physical. But you are a proton, so you are a black hole as well. You are taking the light vibration and birthing it into physicality, which you see as your body in the mirror every day. 
So that is a density of first. Second is, we'll get back to that, is now plant mineral idea. Uh, fire, air, wind. It is all conscience. It is all awareness from the idea of the entity, idea, oversoul, person, fractalized, infinite, creating that particular experience to be that of a rock, to be that of a raindrop, to be that of the wind, to be that of a plant, to be that of an animal. The idea of third density is the self-awareness of physicality. You, we are 3D beings, we are self-aware. We know we are, are, are idealized alive. We are aware of ourselves. Much like a child around the age of six, seven, eight months is, goes to the mirror and touches the mirror, they're presented with that and then they just touch the mirror. But as they grow older, there's a part where they no longer touch the mirror, they touch their nose. And they are now self-aware. That's the idea of third density. And all that exists with the self-awareness of being alive. Animals are within the paradigm. I'm sure they know they're alive, but they're not self-aware, save on this planet, three creatures. Dolphins, whales, and mermaids. They are absolutely self-aware. But that is their paradigm for their structure of experience. After the third density, there is the fourth density, that of love light. The idea of spiritual bodies and whatever chosen idea of what that is. There are many several. Hang on many several ideas of what exists in the fourth density. It is learning that of love, it is learning that of light because you are evolving the fractal of you known as, let's see, is it um, Mark in the mirror every day? You spent time in the first density being an atom, being a proton, being a molecule. You spent time in the second density Many, 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 many circled ideas of life within that density. Maybe thousands and thousands of times as animals, birds, trees, life in that fashion. Maybe you were the wind for a century. Maybe you were fire for a century. You experienced and enveloped what it is to be, let's say, physical in that form. And not only in this world. There's many, many, many other worlds where they have different ideas of plants and animals. Maybe things that we can't even comprehend because we don't have a definition for them that exists in 2D. And you spread yourself endlessly for it is forever and it's always now. So you are playing in the field of segment density and now you are in the third density. How long you've been here, I don't know. But I'm sure you've been here many, many times on many galaxies and many universes experiencing third density in whatever chosen form. Maybe on the known ideas of Pleiadians being a third density when they, before they evolve. Maybe you are a third density Zeta right now, as well as many other humans that you are in the future, in the past, as a human in the now. Maybe you are that of the Hathor civilization when they played upon Earth as a third density idea mm -hmm. and awoken God. Mm -hmm. You were all of those, and now you are this conscious self focusing on the fractal you see in the mirror, giving this fractal the growth of itself, the expansion of the soul, the expansion of experience. And you have awoken to understand through this experiential synchronistic now that you are aware, you are alive, and you are idealized, forgotten, to remember the greatest journey of all. For me, anyway, from my perspective, how awesome to forget, to remember. Booyah. So after this journey, journey into the form, that of love, that of light, and you learn and envelop and develop and evolve the fractal known as you. There is an idea from a good friend of mine, that of Ra, that you spend about 30 million years in the idea of fourth density. 
each lifetime is an average of about 90,000 years. You spend so much time because there's much to evolve into in the fourth density. And then you go through the octaves until the eighth density. And after you coalesce all of your experiences into the highest you, that of God, you journey again. But it is you that chooses to experience what these densities are, what they are to you, what they are to others, what they are. All of creation is the singular one creating its own version of the ultimate reality, which is the choice of you in all the nows forever. So the clarity of different densities is for the interpretation of humanity to awaken to itself to understand there are different portions of you evolving yourself in different nows to understand the experience of the fabric of life the creator that you are choosing to create as you choose so humanity gave itself an idea of a logical stepping idea of densities to see and take the forgotten mind that has nothing to hold on to except the experience from the past to allow itself stepping stones to grow beyond itself but fear not not fear not understanding everything now for if you rush into everything understanding you're only pulling from the source of the past the unknown is what you truly seek and the master allows the vibration above you to present a solution for where there is a problem the solution cannot be found for they cannot exist in the same frequency so the master allows impartations through chosen synchronicity that are all about you because you set it up to allow this coalescing information to envelop in you so you may grow from the spot but rush not yourself know that you are the individual singularity and you just chose to forget and you will always give yourself all that you have in need in the now so search your ideas for that idea of densities to familiarize but trust only one you you are the own discernment of the choices in your reality that are offered we are all guides you are the God that lies before yourself to remember who we are Yay. So, so like realms of consciousness to me than qualities of reality but I suppose that's whether you're looking subjectively or which, which side of the perspective you're on. Well, yes, yeah. But remember this, the one fundamental truth that can never, ever, ever be taken away from you is that your universe will always be subjective. There is no objective in the idea of creation. It's all subjective. How freaking cool is that? No, and I don't get this co-creative stuff. Like, you know, why do we have to put up with uh, irritating government behaviors then? <laughs> Very true, if you choose that. But understand, that's the part of humanity. To, let's say, here, let's, let's give you this idea. You're in a dark room and you have no light. There is no door. There is no way out. The only way for you to get out is to shine your own light. You find your light within to find that there is no room. So that idea means humanity was so forgotten. We only were birthed in the idea of fear, the veil, polarity, the alpha and the omega. We went from complete nothing to being awake. So if you look at humanity where it's at, despite what the mirror tells you and all the things that are quote bad is humanity coming to a point with only each other's love to awaken so from my perspective we are kicking ass <laughs> to wake up from nothing only with each other's love give it love choose the reality that you set before you from a standpoint of compassion, love, wisdom, offering. Don't feed the anger. Don't get mad at it. Allow it. 
because every single entity is born from the same idea of unconditional love. It can be no other way because there's only love. That entity chose to forget it's a journeying God home. That journeying God is finding itself through the idea of fear. And when no longer fear is validated in their reality by others feeding that fear and validating they are fearful, and the only thing is presented in front of them is love, then they will recognize themselves and they will choose differently. They will choose love. That is the journey. Allow. Provide the Garden of Eden for these entities. Allow them. They will remember. Trust they are gods. Oh, yes. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. I just wanted to add uh, for Mark, I don't know if he wants to look any more in depth. I mean, Roxanne did a very, a very well said job, but uh, Rob Gothier does a little more in depth on it. Uh, I don't know if it's with Erdiff or Treb, but it's like I think, two it's, I think it's with Erdiff, yeah. I've yeah. seen that one. Really it's good. A, yeah, it's, it's really in depth. So if you're interested in that, maybe that'll help you or give you a few more answers that maybe he didn't hit on. Which, sure. uh, I mean, it, it, uh, it was a very short version, but very well defined from at least my opinion what I know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, there it is. So you can look it on Treb Channeling. Sensei and, Master's class. Oh, yeah, real, real kick, Ray. Yeah, Bashar says uh, dimensions and densities are different, but they are the same. They're different in numbers. In other words, the fourth density is the fifth dimension. Depends on how you look at it. Why they have that, I don't know. But yeah, I, like the word, I, le I like the word density. I stay with densities, not dimensions. Because right now we're in the fourth dimension, um, which is a 3D world with time but it's considered the third density because we are in 3D. So 3D is density. The aspects of fourth dimension is we live in a 3D physical world with the idea of the fourth idea, let's say, part of it is time being the dimension of it, making it the fourth dimension. That's what I got from that one time <laughs> of Bashar. I just stick with densities. You know, it's it's all up to the individual. That makes me comfortable. I like densities personally. Could you explain that one more time exactly how you just did it? No, but it's <laughs> recorded. <laughs> so you it's can go life. back and watch it on YouTube. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Transcribe it if you like. Go ahead and put it on there. <laughs> Who's that, Jaguar? Frantisa. No, that's that's Fran. Oh, it's Fran. Hi, baby. You better unmute and say hi. Hello. I was so glad to be here. Oh my gosh, it's been so Hello. long. Hi, baby. Good to hi, see you. Hi, Hello. And Roxy, wonderful job. <laughs> Loved it. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, great would we job like to go? Uh, would we like to go off live and uh, have a little private? Yeah, uh, I think we're all minute. done here. As All far right. as live, everyone out there, thank you so much for tuning in. And Dan, you can wrap it up, but I just want to send my love to everyone who uh, is tuning in this now or whatever now you're tuning in. I love you guys. Yeah, thank you everybody for watching uh, Hukalo TV, located at uh, www.humancolony.org, and you can find this on YouTube. We also have uh, this and uh, other webinars available. Uh, come check out the sites and, uh, and uh, come join us. All right, thank you so much. We will see you again next time. Thank you. Thank you, Rob.